guys and welcome back to some more cinders. We are about to return to our residence now. So uh, let's see how that's going to turn out. Back to the same old. It feels almost like coming back to prison and out of my own will. After two such wonderful days of freedom, it's depressing to know that I need to get back to my ordinary life. There, out in the real world, I can meet amazing people, have actual friends. Here, I'm trapped between Carlos's plots and her poor, poor daughter's bitterness. Sometimes I wonder, what if I were to vanish in the woods? Would anyone notice how cat Tobias would? Madame Geed would. Maybe that's the answer. Getting lost in the wilderness, befriending an uncivilized but noble tribe of rather short miners, becoming their princess, being Snow White, and spending the rest of my days being adored, praised, and... Oh, get a grip on yourself, Cinders. At least I learned some interesting things today. Interesting and possibly dangerous for Carmosa. Maybe it's going to be my wild card in this game. Yeah, maybe it will. Sometimes I wonder if all families are like mine. Broken, conflicted, and utterly unpleasant. Or is it just an ability thing? I'm really tired. It's time to go to bed. And tomorrow morning... Oh, I can't wait. It will be bliss. Yeah. I doubt it, because Kamosa will be back. Meanwhile, at the palace... You have summoned me, my prince. That I did. You must be wondering why I wanted to see you at this hour. Surely you have guessed it must be about something important. I will have to ask you to make an important decision, and I will not be expecting you to give me your answer right away. My lord. Let me explain, Pearl. No, don't act- I keep- I have this- I keep right. As you know, we live in a time of transition, and my father's death changed many things. Being so close to our family, you are aware that the old king spent most of his days trying to compromise between extremes, a balance between order and freedom. With little success, despite his best wishes, all his life he remained in an altered front. I thought I read that wrong for a second. That is why it has been my wish, my vision, to change the kingdom in such a way as to eliminate the need for compromise between freedom and order altogether. In other words, Pralt, I want reforms. But I'm sure you know this. I do, my prince. I've known you long enough to be able to learn about the qualities of your character. I want to give the people a constitution, Pralt. I don't want them to be subjects. I want them to be citizens. Oh, I like you now. I see. This will not make you more popular among the nobles, sire. If that's even possible. You are not a king yet, my lord, and there's some unrest among the nobles. I wouldn't announce your plans just yet. They may make you an easy target. Yes, they do. That's exactly why I need your protection. You already have it. You know I would give my life serving the crown. I am your sword and shield, my lord. Yes, yes, my friend, I know that, but these are a different kind of enemies. These are a different yeah, that's what it says. I'm going to have to face through. Oh, yeah, that makes sense during my reign. I'm sorry. I'll be giving the people more freedom, but that means taking away some of that old, precious order. And the nobles won't stand for it. They will want my head. They would dare. Of course not. That would give me a reason to ask for their heads. They will not do anything openly. Do you understand now what I speak of, Rolt? So you want me to spy for you? That was a uh, complete wrong voice. It is the new battlefield, Captain. The theatre of war of our times. And the crown needs you to be our champion. Champion? But it isn't an honour of war. It's a war of lies. I, I'm sorry, I was doing your voice so well for like two minutes. It is a war of discretion and intelligence. Qualities I know you possess in abundance. Not to mention loyalty. Forgive me, my lord. I don't want to come across as naive. I am simply not accustomed to subtleties of ruling. I am surprised. What would you require of me in this new service? You would have to spend more time at the court, that much is certain. Keep your eyes and ears open and, of course, socialise much more. That is a crappy job. I would not it. You would have to trade those blades of yours for an exquisite white gold cutlery. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. And maybe do something about this outfit. 
I like it. I like all those belts. What, what's wrong with the belts, Prince? I see. This is not exactly... This isn't my scene. I won't get to wear my gloves. My, my gorgeous gloves. You don't have to decide right away. Also, you do have a choice. I'm not a tyrant after all. Should you choose to distance yourself from this lovely mess I'm planning for the realm, you can leave your current service for honour and retire. What, so if he's going to get fired or he has to do it? That's really not much of a choice. Your patrolling duty is purely ceremonial nowadays, and the guards have their offices. As it is, your position at the court is a matter of empty traditionalism. Nothing more. This is cruel. You're being so cruel. You would send me away? To where? Oh, I'm certain there's some picturesque and lucrative strip of royal land left that I can make you an account of. How about Middle Hollow? It's such a quaint little place. You deserve it. That simple. This is very surprising. It's strange. It's a strange thing to learn that you are not needed. Rubbish for all. The crown needs you. I need you. This is precisely why I'm asking you to make your own decision. You're bullying him. If I am to rule this realm, I have to learn to make difficult choices, and this is my first. I'm not ordering you to become the new royal master that royal master spy, master royal spy, spy royal master. Spy. There's got to be a better title for it than that. I just I can't. It doesn't flow. I am giving you a choice. Not only because I know you wouldn't make a good agent. Oh, against your own will. Okay, that makes sense. I'm asking you to be the head because I know you will actually make a good agent. But it's different when it's because it's sort of against your own will. But also because you are my good friend, Pearl. If that's the case, I reckon I prefer to just be a just subject. It will be enough, Captain. Let us not say things we will regret later. Very well, my lord. Will this be all, my prince? Yes, Captain. Give me my propose give my proposal some thought. I would have your answer within the next few days. Now go. Or do you need a special invitation to get out of bed? Get up, get up. What time is it? Dawn already, and you need to get up right this instant. Dawn is not a reason to yell at someone, and I'm sure it's recent enough to get up so I'm not sure it's recent enough to get up so abruptly either. Two days that supervision, you've gotten lazy already. Where would you be on your own, I wonder? Oh yes, do come in and spill your venom on me. Is there any actual reason for me to wake up at this hour? Or is it just a social call on your part? Fine, don't get out and see how it works for you. What do I care? This way it'll be even more interesting. Okay, I'm sorry, and awake now. Would you please tell me what's going on? Kamos is back. She wants us to gather in the hall. I'm wide awake and up now. You could have begun with that. Well, now you know. She brought a large package with her, and she looks like she means business, so hurry up. She always looks like she means business. I wonder what's in the package, though. What shape was it? Did... Oh, just something nosy and hurry up or we'll both be in trouble. If you were getting dressed instead of asking so many questions, we would already be seeing it for yourself. You didn't stand there and yell at me and stare. I'd actually be in a position to get dressed. Fine, I'm leaving. Just hurry up. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I got here as fast as. Wait, where's Carmosa? In her study. She said she didn't have time to wait for you forever, and you kept her waiting quite some time. Oh no, we wouldn't want Carmosa's magnificent plans to be fought just because of Cinder's laziness, would we? You might rethink your attitude. Mother wants to speak to you. I can't imagine how it's going to be a pleasant experience, considering. She said she wants to speak to me? Why? Well, actually, she wants to speak to each of us. You're just supposed to go first. Right. When I finally get to be first at something, it's something I don't want. It's like receiving gifts. Good in principle, yet always disappointing in reality. Why does she want to speak to each of us? And why separately? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, stop complaining, you two, and you should hurry up and go, Sophia. Unless you feel the need to make Mother angrier, of course. I'm going, I'm going. I certainly don't like this. Kamosa seems keen on interrogating us and getting every deal of what happened while she was gone. If you did what you were supposed to, you wouldn't need to be so nervous right now. Just a thought. Of course, because everything is fair and honest around here, and I certainly wouldn't get blamed for things I have no control over. I think you do enough if you're not to need any additional blame. 
Your constant rebelling should get most of Kamosa's attention. But... And how will Kamosa have an idea about who rebelled and what rebelling actually means, hmm? You are not seriously suggesting, suggesting that I would tell on you. I am trying so hard to do well here and take care of you two. It is sweet, because she is actually trying to take care of us, but she, in the only way she knows how, which is by being Kamosa. And Sophia, she wouldn't just stab you in the back like that for no reason now, would she? Well, I certainly do not feel as safe as you described. Okay, so my sister might have an interesting idea as a of fun. True, but I think we did start some sort of connection, albeit weak. I did notice you two were on better terms. I must admit, I was wondering what that change was about. I'm not sure yet, but I certainly hope it's permanent, not some ploy to lower my awareness. I like the feeling of having a sister. Oh, I'm so glad that you say that, and I'm happy you and Sophia are getting along. Actually, I'm happy she's getting along with anyone. I think that's genuine. Happy? Why you ever talk to her yourself? Yada yada. The fact that I don't have a good connection with her doesn't mean I don't care. I do wish for her to be happy. I'm glad she's finally able to make friends. See, <laughs> no, I like you. I have no idea how much you. I had no idea how much you cared. You're full of surprises. I don't think I need to explain myself. I was just asking, but fine. Let's just wait for Sophia to come out and see what she has to say. Well, it's not like we have any incentives. I hate waiting. This shouldn't take long. Kamos is not someone to beat around the bush. True. She's always to the point. No excuses, no diversions, no mercy. Let's just wait. Stop! Right clicking finger. It's like middle finger, it just wants some action because so I don't swear enough. It's like, or I swear more. You're back. That was fast. Aren't you happy to see me? I'm fine. Sorry to disappoint you girls. Da, 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 da. So what was the talk about? You'll find out soon enough. It's your turn and I wouldn't keep Mother waiting if I were you. Alright, I'm off. Wish me luck. Why did she have to wait for Cinders if Cinders was going to be the last one anyway? You might need it. So, good luck, sister. Good luck. So, how was it? Kamosa swoops down you like a horse and submits you to a great physical torture and tests your endurance. At one point she took us a long needle and... Lovely. Thanks for that image, sis. You did get a little pale, but honestly, you'll be fine. So, it wasn't that bad? Oh, don't get me rushed to plan that will make me lose a lot of sleep till it's all over. This can't be good. I'm almost afraid to ask. What is it? Oh no. You need to be properly surprised to surprise me here if I'm come out, sir. That will prove I did not utter a word. But you don't need to worry too much. Only Glora and I get to fail come out, sir, and her ridiculously high expectations this time. As far as I- This means she's not going to go to the ball. I never thought I'd be happy to hear someone that someone forgot about me. I forgot about you and your little escapades when I recounted to come out, so what happened during her absence. We should be fine. I wonder what Gloria will tell. Aren't you worried? I'm not sure. She seemed alright when we talked. Maybe a bit unsettled. I know my sister. She doesn't show emotion until Mother orders her to do it. But on the inside, she was raging. I think she might spill some of that into Mother's ears. To hell with that. These past few days remind me of what freedom felt like. It was worth it the punishment Kamosa might throw at me. You've either lost your mind or forgot what Mother is capable of. Nothing is worse than what she'll come up with to make you regret your actions. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? I do love the music in this game. Oh, you're back. How was it? What do you mean? Well, was it, I don't know, unpleasant? Of course not. Why would it be? It's just a normal conversation. Normal for you, perhaps. Come on, Gloria. I can tell it wasn't that smooth. Stop being so nosy and start asking proper questions. Did Kamosa tell you about her plans? In fact, she did. Oh, of course she did. You went a special little place in her lap. Stop, oh, so Sophia, please. Shush now, Cinders. So what do you think of Mother's latest great plot? Um, you would think she had to learn not to expect the impossible of us or anything big, really. Maybe it's time to live up to her expectations. You are a grown-up now, Sophia. It's time for you to work on managing your responsibilities. You're hopeless and stupid. Some of us are simply built, not built for greatness. If only you focused on doing something useful half as often as you do in shopping up a vicious tub. You must speak plainly. I am too stupid to understand complex sentences. So, what are Kamosa's plans exactly? Oh, I'm sure she'll explain everything in a moment. Now, hurry, don't keep waiting. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. 
Now she gets when someone's late. Oh yes, yeah, so I feel like this is going to be quite some, an adventure. And I'm about to enter the beast slayer. Lair. Boop boop. Boop boop. Boop boop. Oh, I'm scared. You called me? Yes, I did. Come in and close the door. I'd like you to explain something to me. I've just asked my daughter about what happened during my absence, and to my surprise, I've got two conflicting descriptions. Could you please explain to me how you did spend the last two days? I visited friends in town and did some things I planned to do. You could say I took two days off. So I've heard. Well, I wasn't here to direct you. I certainly hope. However, one of my daughters showed me that you're much less likely to make a mistake like that. She did? Yes. I thought it was unusual of her, so I'm letting this slip. But enough of this. This isn't the topic I want to speak to you about. It has to do with my plans for our family. Two days from now, a grand ball will take place in the royal palace. Any royal business is very important, of course, but this particular ball will be very important, even for his royal highness. It means very careful preparations. The royal masquerade, I might have heard about it, yes. Oh, you have? This is very surprising indeed. Is it? Recently I've learned that it isn't a difficult to obtain sensitive information. One simply has to pay attention to what's going around them, and watch carefully who is meeting with whom. Especially when it comes to certain shady looking characters, fetching rumoured like a trained hound. Really? Well done then. I suppose you're not as thick as I thought. Let's hope you'll forget this. F forget. Forge! Forge! Ha! This little, with this little success, you can be collecting information into a permanent quality. Oh, a quality which I'm sure you'll find useful in my. I was just so happy to realise that it was Forge and not Forget without the tea. Being well informed surely beats being kept in the dark. Folks say that truth shines like a light and ignorance is dark as night. It's a fitting comparison after all. Night is a time of fear, vulnerability and powerlessness. I learn quite a few things these days. I feel much safer and more powerful already. What matters here is the ball is very near and there is very little time left. That means I will be expecting our entire family, and I do mean all of us, to give their best. Which will mean I can reach their complete obedience. No questions, no dramas, no nonsense. This is too important to be and meant to be spoiled in such a silly way. Very well, I'm going to see my part in this plan then. Will I be going to the ball as well, as a member of our family that I am? Don't be absurd, we're all affairs on your arena. I see. And what is my arena, Mom? Why, the house, of course. If everything goes smoothly, the ball should not point in my family going back to high society. And that means one thing guests. We will need combined effort to make the residence spotless, but your role in this will be crucial. I see, my lady. Would you also like me to hide in the wardrobe and pretend I'm a statue when the guest has come? Or maybe being a statue caused too much of a competition for your charm and intelligent daughters. I understand your ar anger, your anger, I'm not that much. And your reasons, you must understand for mine. Oh, your anger. I put too much time and effort into this opportunity for my daughters. I will not be let them be upstaged by anyone. This is a bit mean. You may play all sanctimonious with me now, but even now or in ten years you'll understand my perspective, and you'll agree with my decision. Also, I don't see a single real reason to yield to your complaints, if all I get from you is reckless, childish moods. Start supporting the family, maybe the family will do the same for you. You like to refer to all of us as family, but only if it means I have to do something. Don't get melodramatic, girl, you sound like a bad novel. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be prepared to... I wouldn't be able to prepare three young ladies, ladies for the ball organised by the future king. Ladies, ladies. Do you have any idea how much a decent dress costs these days? No, of course you don't. Uh, should I mention I know about the money problem? Yeah. Yes, apparently a big house and an inherited title don't make anyone rich, do they? And when they need even those proud and snobbish get desperate enough to trade away heirlooms. What are you saying, girl? That Lisa's misfit couldn't keep his mouth shut now, could he? It's fairly easy to get information once you know for sure it's there. It's just a matter of per per perseverance. <laughs> Old words from someone so young. One could think great spy master should be asking you for counsel. Most fortunate me to have such a treasure under my roof, and so humble too. But collecting rumours, even the juicy ones, isn't enough. Great spies need to know how to use leverage. Do you? And what do you say if I told you I found a way to solve our money problems? You had now. That's very improbable. Your touch with reality is laughable. 
Do you even know where the money to buy your food can go? Where that, that, that comes from? Save your skepticism for later. What if I find a way and you're making a huge mistake? Are you really willing to take a chance? Well, oh, I've got something in my eye. It's horrific. It's watering so much. Well, I assume that you and Dee suddenly grow a backbone and I realise this is how the world works. So I'm not going to deal with my eye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye bye.